can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Yeah. Even with a sprain. Hang, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? For the wins, came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Yeah. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gonna jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gonna pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how I feel righteous. Blue sheets for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's built private. I might just double it up. Did it? Mm. Never enough. I'm with it. Uh. Five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world suspended. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and a slot to the click all in. I got ops, if he drop, I just hit my dance. I was pop, they just watched, had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Go to the again and again. Who is the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of ram, but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way, either you rollin' or rollin' the dust, you with us or what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the 10, now we on top, top yeah. once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan, I got it right in the end, now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the 10, now we on top, top once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10. NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Green Bay Packers.
two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. now on first down in a double coverage and it's intercepted picked up by the USC man Adoree Jackson and he will return this one to the 30 yard line that's kind of a double whammy I mean the interception on the opening drive that's one thing but to give him this field position that's another absolutely perfect start for this defense they take the ball away on the opening possession they know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half they line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Darrington, two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. At 25 to Mike. We got 25 to Mike. So don't say nothing. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He gets it to Humphreys. Tannehill's pass. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That's One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Taken about seven yards deep. The Packers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Not the way they wanted to begin things. You have the interception on the first play of the game. The good news, it only led to three points. And remember our conversation with him prior to the ball game? He said they had something special designed for the first play. It didn't hit. Let's see if he can rebound from it and not let it get him down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And Adams has it. Good play. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. It's a game. A big play there. Rodgers to Adams. 53 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He completes it to Jones. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. No, no, no. 
second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Jones has it. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of 4, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. Aaron Jones. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. They'll try again with Jones. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. A minimal gain there on the 8th play of the drive. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Working from the gun. Rodgers. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. To number 17. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken the lead. Mason Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll run with Henry. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The ball carrier. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. He was brought down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Fourth down now after a loss of two. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. 
They're going to go. It's Tannehill. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. Now a first down carry by Jones. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. A give to Jones. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 20-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Green Bay. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a move point there as they were able to connect Rodgers now on first down and that's complete to Adams second quarter action with 159 remaining and he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Green Bay. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, CD, you know, taking a step back, we're two weeks into the season, and you already kind of get the sense that teams are beginning to separate themselves. If you, if you look at the 2-0 teams, and remember, 62% of 2-0 teams ultimately make the playoffs. But Baltimore, Kansas City, Green Bay, Seattle, just to name a few, they look really good. They certainly do, and in a lot of ways, those are the teams that we expected to be 2-0 at this part of the season. I mean, it's no major surprise. But how about Arizona being 2-0 as well? 
People talked about them getting better in the offseason. I don't know how many of us thought they beat San Francisco in the opener. They did, then they jumped on Washington this week, and they are 2-0 as well. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we know the not good news about teams that start 0-2. The Giants and the Jets both there, Detroit, Cincinnati. So, again, maybe some more predictable names. Certainly, they are predictable. Again, not a surprise for most of them, although many thought Detroit would be improved at this point. But how about a team that's 0-2 that went through a little bit of a difficult offseason like the rest of us, but even more so because of players being gone? How about Houston being 0-2 right now? They won the division last year. I think that's a little bit unexpected right now, even though they had a tough opening schedule with Kansas City and Baltimore. Second and 10. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Tannehill throwing again. Eluding the pressure right. Pass the 20. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure. Good coverage downfield. And then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay no they're going to say timeout they did get the timeout in time as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Tannehill now to throw. Flush to his right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. That sack came from the corner. On the corner blitz, it was Josh Jackson. I know there would be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. That cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. Kill, kill, kill. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Tannehill. Got a man. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds getting it down to the ten. Just a five-yard pickup and it leads to fourth down. Fourth down. Steven Goskowski on for the field goal. A 27-yard. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. So a late three there, and that'll help the 
as they head into the break. Talk about situational football. It's something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. Now this will make it into the end zone. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it. On EA Sports, takes this about five yards deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Number and he's dropped right Gary at the 40. Gain of three. Rashawn Gary. On three the yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 40-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. They'll run it again with Henry. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll get three up to midfield. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a handoff to Henry. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. That's complete to Darrington Evans, the running back. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards, the final tally. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. Derek, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go. Now, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Now it's Tannehill. Be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Hey, 
Third and long, it's Tannehill. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Zadarius Smith drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. A 49-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that'll bring him back within four. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. Now they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. At their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's tackled at the Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The give is to Jones. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Eight yards to go on second down. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. It's picked up by the Titans. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Second and eight. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Tannehill. On the screen, this is Evans. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Check 
on first and 10, Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's a handoff to Evans out of the gun. Down right around the 25. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Titans on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Goskowski's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. At their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, it's Jones. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. To Aaron Jones. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's now fourth down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. The Packers go for it. Rodgers. 
It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. At the 43-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Here's J.K. Scott now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. They practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes progress. Perfect. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. A throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And that'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. 
He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And three. Second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Back to throw. And that's caught by Smith. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 28. Again, Tannehill. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. Today's final score, Packers 13. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here, coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Nashville. For the wins, came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top.